Hello, Daddy Little Grumbleweed. How are you doing? Ah, uh, right. We've been shopping. Yeah. And we've got a relatively healthy yeah. shop today. Would you like to unpack everything and yes. we can do a reveal? Ooh, that's heavy. Right. <laughs> Bats. We have oh, bats. Yeah, well, we're having these for lunches, aren't we? So we, we have been having um, a ham sandwich, yes, basically, a bit on of a, a bag. Something yeah. to warm me up. Yeah. So I still have some of those Yule things, but they have to go in the fridge and they're really cold, and it's really cold at the moment. So. You do. Baby plum tomatoes. Baby plum tomatoes. Yes. And they are very tasty, actually. They're very, very nice from Morrison's. So it all keeps fresh. Eggs, because I am going to make some sausage rolls from scratch. Um, so I need one of those for the pastry wash. Ooh. So we can use them for the things. Well. Oh yeah, the Morrison's Tiger Bloomer, it's lovely. Mm. I like that one, you can just about see the sort of tigery stripes. Anyway, it is nice. There's something I can see on the top. <gasps> Matt's favorite thing in the whole wide world. It is. It's a chocolate Yule log. But we'll be good, we're gonna share it. We are. It's gonna last us a few days. Yes. I'm gonna get another one next week. Mm, well, we'll, <laughs> well, most people buy these for the Christmas dinner. But they're they so actually... nice. Well, I know then they're, they're nice. Got the gold leaf on it. It's, it's really, really yummy. Right, Matt's milk. You're really into this one at the minute, aren't you? Yeah, because um, it's an offer. Mighty milk, but well, it is nice, though, isn't it? You yes. say normally. Yeah. So that one's apparently quite nice. Some creme. Yes. To go with the. You'll we love. have some double cream to go with the Yule. I got some hoops. Yes, Matt likes spaghetti hoops. I'm not a fan. I prefer beans, although I don't like a lot of beans. And then we've got these. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> we will be doing these as part of Vlogmas. So we're going to have a competition. Who can do the best festive gingerbread house? And then you all will get to vote on it. <gasps> Could we do it live? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because <laughs> that could be fun. We will say what we can do. But yeah, it looks really fun because there's like all festive things. And we bought some tubes of decoration. They do, the packs do come with decorating tubes, but we bought some extra ones. Yeah. So mustard. For my sausage rolls, but we also use it in cooking anyway. Yeah. Uh, so the basic one's really good. Broccoli. Broccoli. Yay. Some salad cream. Salad cream for the rolls. Some bacon lidon. Oh yes, I put these. Well, when you do, when I do the recipe, I'll show you. But I do put those in the sausage rolls. Butter. Butter, because I love the country life butter. It's my favourite. Ham. Ham. The there we go. Country life, please sponsor us. Because yeah. I love you. <laughs> pork yeah, sausage meat. it's the sausage meat ready for the sausage rolls. This is just the um, pork, regular, just pork sausage meat. It's fine. Tonight's tea. Yeah, so we fancied some turkey. I know it's not quite Christmas, but who cares? Yeah. We can have turkey whenever we want it. Spuds need to make some roast potatoes later and oh, also yes. keep two for jacket potatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, pastry. Yeah, so I'm not making my own pastry. I don't have the time nor the inclination. This is just fine. And then fish. Yes, fish just for... Then we've got chips in the oven, um, chips in the freezer, and we've got um, whatever we want with it. We could have veg or we could have the hoops and, and beans, whatever. So that's all of our little mini kind of haul at the moment. Uh, and then what am I doing today? I'm fi finishing off filming my Stitch Fix, and then that video will go up for Vlogmas Day 4. And I don't know when you're going to be seeing this footage. <laughs> in which vlog? Who knows? But there we go. Hello, it is that time in the month again when I'm going to film my Stitch Fix. The box came in um, a few days ago, but there's a story to tell because I had a bit of an accident. We were actually away. Um, so we've got a ring doorbell so we could tell the delivery guy to put it around the back. Um, the delivery guy did. He placed it under the table, but the floor was still wet. So I had a bit of an incident where everything got a bit soggy so when i got back i had to take out to unbox take everything out dry things the clothes didn't get damaged uh, but the box did so just in case i do need to send things back i dried out the box which i can tape up if i need to right so disaster over and crisis averted i can now reveal to you what is inside so i've had a quick peek so because i had to but I haven't actually got them out. So, ta -da! So with this Stitch Fix, by the way, last month's Stitch Fix was a complete hit. I had everything from the box, 
apart from one thing which um, I actually, which they couldn't give me in a different size because they'd sold out. That was fine, they gave me a refund. Um, but look, this looks fantastic. So in this box, I asked for something that I could wear for party season for Christmas. So uh, there were some things I selected and then I think I left something up to them. So on the preview, so if you didn't know, you can preview the items first, say yes or no. If you say no, then they select items for you. So I think I said yes to this jumper and that jumper. And I think I let them pick, I think these look like trousers, cargo trousers. And then these two shirts, I think are what they included for party season. So let's take a thumbnail. And then we need to get opening. So, um, yes. Ooh, let's check the information first. So, obviously, it all, every stitch fix comes with the box that you can return things and a label which you can put on the front. So all you do is put the items in, tape the box up. Um, it's really simple. You just take it to a post office. It's really, 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 really simple. Um, so here's the list of uh, the items and how much they cost. And then this, I'll show you first before I look. Um, it's just some suggestions on how you can style. So, without further ado, oh, by the way, I do have a link and discount code, it works. Uh, there are men's and women's clothes, so anyone can take part. Uh, you get £15 off your order and I get 15 off mine, just to be really transparent. Oh, now look at these. Wow, so let's start with the shirt. Now, this is a uh, Fairlane, Fairlane, Fairlane and Sons. Um, yes, it's in a size medium. It's a regular fit herringbone check shirt. Oh, now this does look really, really good for party season. And I have an afternoon tea coming up. Um, how much is this one? This one is, I think it's, cl it's classed as navy, uh, £46. Now, the material, it does feel quite thick. So perfect for cold, for the cold weather. The sleeves don't look too long. They have a cuff with a button detail. I'm really loving the check on it. In fact, this could be something that I actually wear for Christmas Day. In fact, I might save it for Christmas Day. Um, that's lovely. I really do like that. Um, yeah, it's classed as navy, but I would say it's more, the predominant colour is more like a pl the kind of red plum colour. Anyway, it's lovely. There's um, pockets. Front pockets, there's two of them. Um, yeah, I think that will look really nice on me. I think the colour will suit. Uh, and it's not overly red, because I did say I didn't want things that were overly red. So that, I think, uh, ticks that box perfectly. Next, we have another Fairlane and Sons shirt. Now, this one feels a little bit thinner, uh, which, again, is perfectly fine, because I do sometimes get hot. So I'm, again, is it pretty much the same shirt? No, it has one uh, pocket on the left, but it doesn't have a button. I'm really loving the pattern on it. How much is this one? So this must be the other, obviously, Fairlane. Um, Manning, regular fit. Green, I think it's classed as, and that's £46 as well. So the red, sort of Christmassy one, feels a little bit thicker than this one. What's the material? I mean, obviously, it feels like cotton to me. Can I see the label? Where is the label? I don't know. I can't quite see. Um, it's in a... Uh, pass on that one. I can't see the... Do you know what? My hands are so cold. I've only just put the heating on, so I'm having trouble. You know when, when your hands get so cold and you can't feel things? Uh, okay, I found... It's 100% cotton. There you go. So I think the other one is the same, but it's just thicker. Right, now onto the jumpers. Now I love my long sleeve sort of jumpers uh, and tops. I mean, I'm wearing one now. This is more of a jumper than I suppose like a thin top. Um, this is a Jack and Jones premium um, organic. Uh, oh, now this is a 
a euro large. I'm hoping it's a UK. It's a it's large. Now I'm wondering whether or not I may need medium. This might be one of those ones where I'm like I may need to exchange it. The sleeve does seem a little long, but it does have a a cuff on it. I'm liking the kind of waffle effect to it. And if you hold it up, I can actually see the studio light through it. So, but the color's nice. I do like the color. Um, yeah, there's a little, little detail there as well. I, I like this kind of elasticated uh, bottom of it as well. I think that is gonna be nice as long as the sizing is correct. Again, with this one, see, I'm holding it up and I'm just sensing it's too big. But we'll say I can I can always exchange them for a me. Oh no, this one is a medium. Hang on, what have they done here then? So the Jack and Jones, I think they've sent a large. This is a frame, so they're not the same. This one's a frame and it's a medium, and it still seems big. I am going to have to just try them on again. It's got the cuff detail. I love the mustard colour. I've already got something similar uh, that was probably a lot. Oh, I haven't checked the price. Uh, the Navy um, Jack and Jones was £35. I am surprised at that. I thought it would be more. Um, and the A-frame in mustard is £46. So this one's a bit more expensive. Yeah, they sent the Jack and Jones in a large. Maybe it's because it sizes, um, maybe it's because of the sizing. I don't know, maybe you need a large to get the same effect of, of a medium. Because I definitely, I switched my sizes because I was having issue with the sizing, things being too big. I switched the shirts and the tops down from a large to a medium, which you can do that. You can alter your, um, your measurements and your requirements to suit. Okay, so I'm like, I mean, I, I like the style of it, just whether or not it fits. Okay, next. Now, I'm always dubious about receiving uh, trousers of any sort, whether it be jeans or jog bottoms or cargoes, without trying them on. So I am gonna need to try them on. These are a waist 34, leg 30. They should fit. Um, I like the color of them. Now, I did say that I, I, was, I was open to having a bit more of a jazzy sort of festive trouser option. Trouser, jeans, didn't really matter. I wasn't specific in what sort, but I said kind of festive colors would be quite nice. Maybe a red or like, a, not, not a red, like a plum or something. And they've sent this kind of uh, like cargo green, um, dusty olive twill it's described as. Um, so, I mean, well, it's, they have sent slim leg doesn't really fit the festive colours brief, uh, but if you look, I think it will pair really, really nicely with that shirt and also this shirt. In fact, to be fair, anything that I've received today will go with these uh, trousers. So they are a zip feature, not button. Uh, they've got the belt holes, they've got... Um, They've got rear pockets, front pockets. I'm gonna to have to just try them on. I mean, I'm not gonna know unless I try them on. Okay, so, I mean, again, looking at the styling options, of course, the shirts can be styled with jeans. They are, what are they styling? Um, see, I didn't need shoes. Okay, I quite like the styling options down there. It's good to have the suggestions, to be honest. So I'm quite liking that. Right, I need to try on, but I'm not gonna try on today. I'll probably try on tomorrow because I've got some different filming to do. So I will come back and obviously uh, in the blink of an eye, you will see the try on. Okay, so it's now time for the trying on segment. And I forgot to tell you exactly kind of how much things total up to. So um, basically the stylist picks all five items if you paid full price and had all of them would be £241, but you do get a 20% discount if you buy five, all of the five items. So that would bring it down to £192 with a £48.20 reduction. Um, and the styling charge deduction of £10, 
Uh, delivery is free. So if I had everything with the 20% off, it would be £182.80. Otherwise, you can send back whatever you want to and you pay the full price of the whatever items you decide to keep. So I am actually wearing my Stitch Fix shirt from the previous order. It's lovely. I, I've worn this many, many times. So what I'm going to do, I think, is try on the trousers first. Um, and I will try them on, probably with this shirt, and just see, because I think they'll go. The colours, I think, will work really well. And we'll just see what I think about these trousers um, and whether or not I want to keep them on. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll go back to these um, these cream trousers that are not from Stitch Fix and we'll try on the, the, all the other items. So, right, let me first of all try them on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, do you know what? I do actually like them. I'm not sure whether you can see, um, but I am actually really liking these. They are, they're... I mean, they're about an inch long, but with shoes, if I just put my slippers back on, mimicking shoes, by the way, these slippers are Ugg slippers, then actually they work really well. I like the colour. They are just, I mean, a slight bit in the waist, but if I put my belt on, that will be fine. I actually like the fit on the butt. That works quite nice. Do you know what? I actually like these. I was so doubtful about these and they actually seem feel quite a nice size there as well in the leg do you know what i actually 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 quite like them i am so surprised because i didn't think i would um so yeah i think those are going to be a keep i'm actually really excited so the trousers they were oh they're 68 pounds okay they are on the expensive side um, they were by Mavi, weren't they? M-A-V-I. They are on the expensive side, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I actually think they fit so much. If I just pull this like this, I think they just fit really well. And of course, you could have the shirts tucked in. Most people don't these nowadays, but you could have them tucked in with a belt. I think that would work quite nice. Oh, yes, I am actually quite excited about those. I think they may be a keep, actually. Right, now, I'm going to try on, I think, the other two shirts, and then I'll try on the jumpers and see, see how they do. Right, so we now have the kind of bluey, greeny check shirt. I really like this. I'm so excited. The sleeves are absolutely perfect. It goes really, really nicely with these trousers, and it really is a true slim fit. There's no, you know, real great bagginess. I actually really do like this. I think it looks... Amazing. Ah, I'll just stand back so you can see. I just think this looks really, really good. Um, and I can imagine it would look good with one of these on the top. So afterwards, I'll, I'll try those on as well. Um, although I might do a split screen and just show you with the jumpers on as well. The material feels so soft. I like the way it looks. It's very festive. It's perfect for kind of party season. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, you tell me, what do you think? Do you think it looks good? I think it fits me so nice in the back as well. Um, it's almost, you know, properly tailored to me. How much was this one? Were they the, both shirts, I think, were the same price, weren't they? They were 46 pounds. Yeah. Um, lovely. I'm, I'm so impressed with them. Like I say, you could also tuck them in, although this shirt, because it's so fitted, I think it looks good out. Yes. I am liking this. Excited, right, now let's try on the ready coloured one because I'm hoping that this will be really good for Christmas day. This is what I want to wear it for. Okay, everyone, this is another keep. Just look. I love the sleeve length. It's absolutely perfect. The, the body length is perfect. The, it, feels, it feels a little bit thicker than the previous shirt I've just worn. Um, but that's really, really good. It's, it's, it is a kind of wintry weight, but it's not overly heavily winter weight. The, the pattern is just lovely. Um, I've done the button. I never have my buttons done all the way up, um, but I've done it up one more than what I did in the previous one. I'll open another button just so you can kind of see what it's like a bit, a little bit more casual, which is how I wear them. Just fits me really nicely. Oh yes, yeah, so far we have three items that I am keeping. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with these trousers. I don't think it doesn't go, but I would probably team this. Oh, I think it is gonna be my Christmas outfit. I think I would wear it 
with these. I think this colour would look a lot better with this. I think it kind of picks up on them. Yeah. I'm going to wear those trousers with, with this. But, I mean, it doesn't not go. It's just whether or not I would wear it. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is the Christmas look? Or do you think I should wear my more kind of tan-coloured trousers? Let me know. Um, but, of course, I mean, you could wear any of these shirts also with jeans. They'd be perfect. I mean, yeah. I'm just... I'm loving it. Also with the jumpers, the two jumpers, which I've probably done a split screen. Um, I just think they look really cool. Yay! I'm really, really happy with those. Um, so now it's time to try on the jumpers on their own, and then I'll try them with the shirts and sort of do a bit of a split screen look for you, which you've probably already seen anyway. This is exactly what I like, and I normally wear these long sleeve tops um, without anything underneath. You can wear them with white t-shirts, you can put the shirt underneath. I'm liking this. I'm really, 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 really liking this. Uh, again, you could wear the shirts underneath. Wow. Okay, this is perfect. Perfect sleeve and really, really soft. I'm sure you can see on me. Um, I like that. I do like a v-neck. Um, that's one thing I would say. If it came in a v-neck, even better. But I don't mind the, the round neck. I think it fits me really nice. I think it goes with these trousers. It's kind of cargo green and the blue. Would I have thought of putting them together? No. <laughs> but I think they, they don't not go. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm liking this. So this is another item I'm keeping. More of a winter weight um, fabric. The other one was a little bit more thin, but this is fine. I like this sort of thing. I like the colour. I've already got some, I've actually got something similar, but this does feel better quality than the one that I've got. And the one that I've got, I have worn. So I've also got socks that match this colour, so I can easily match up. I think the cargo trousers as well, with this colour work really well. Yes. Do you know what? Again, <laughs> I think we might be on to a win. Sleeve length is perfect. I like the cuffs. I like the little kind of um, waffle. I call it a waffle, sort of waffle design. Yes, I am liking this one again. Again, you can wear it with shirt, uh, t-shirt, whatever you wanted. Winner, winner. I think actually I am going to keep all items. Okay, so there we have it. I am going to keep all of my five items from this box. So the order total will be £182.80. If you are interested in Stitch Fix and you are sceptical, I would say definitely 100% give it a go. Use my discount and code. You get £15. I get £15 off my next order. And what I would say, we are now four boxes in to my Stitch Fix journey and they are definitely learning about me and what I like, what suits me, what sizes. And I am learning about them. I'm learning what sizes they send things in, if that makes sense. So what I did do, I did go back onto the app and I adjusted the size of um, shirts and jumpers. I went from large down to medium. And as you can see, things fit a lot better. It's just like when you when you learn or you when you have a favorite brand, you know from your favorite brand if you need to size up, size down, you learn about them. It's exactly the same with Stitch Fix. They learn about you, you learn about them. Four boxes in, we have, you know, every single item I am keeping. And I was the surprise item of the entire episode is definitely these trousers. I was so skeptical about these when I opened them. Um, initially, I thought, they're going to be too big, they're not going to fit properly, I'm not going to like them. I absolutely love them. The only thing that I wish, really, is I wish they were more in like a plum colour, or like, not red, I didn't want red, but like a plum, or some kind of like a festive red, which I think would have gone really, really nicely with this shirt. Um, the only other thing I would have wished, I prefer the lighter weight of the blue sweater than I do the slightly heavier, thicker weight of the um, yellowy uh, mustard colour. Just a personal preference, I will wear both. I like them both, but I prefer the kind of thin. Also, I would like to see something more in a v-neck, which I may ask for for January. I haven't decided yet. Um, so yes, that is the complete try-on. Obviously, this Stitch Fix Fix is part of my Vlogmas series. 
So when we do um, January's, it will be its own standalone video. Uh, but yeah, I am so happy and impressed with Stitch Fix. Um, definitely give it a go. Use my link and discount code, men and women. Uh, in fact, I would like to see you make your own videos uh, or take pictures and um, tag me on Instagram. Right, so it's time to catch up on the advents because of the way that things have fallen. Um, I haven't managed to do the advents on the exact days. So, uh, on all the advent calendars, we need to do window two, three, and four. So, the Meowie one, I was so impressed with that um, last time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them, um, but I'm not gonna give them to the cats at the moment because um, that's window two. So it doesn't say what they are, but like I say, it could be a choice of, it's either chicken, tuna, or a different, uh, oh, there's two lots of chicken. There's chicken, crunchy bakes, and there's chicken fresh meat. So that's window two. As you can see, you get quite a good amount in them. Um, where's window number three? Window number three is here. Um, so what I shall do over, over the next day or so, I shall just give them a pinch each from these. I'm not gonna open them because I don't want them to lose their freshness. Um, but like I said, on, the, on window number one, I took a pinch, a large pinch of each, of each window, and that did eat each cat. Um, so window number four is over here. Can we see window number four? I'm gonna open that one. Because I don't want to overload them with treats because it will just make them sick. <laughs> so there we go. There's quite a lot of treats. There is quite a lot in there. One calendar does three cats. I was so impressed by that. Um, right, the next one. I'm going to do the tea advent calendar. This is the Shibui Tea 24 Days of Tea. Now, what I want to do with this one, because obviously we've got a few days to catch up on, I shall, so there's window number two, there's window number three, and there's window number four. I say window, they're bags. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is kind of, I'm gonna get my scissors, and I'm gonna open them, smell them, say what I think they smell like, and then see what they are. Because the last time I opened one, there is so much loose tea in this bag, you could make a lot more than just one pot. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm gonna kind of cut the corner off, and then what I might do is keep them in like a sealed container. Uh, right, let's have a sniff. Number two. Gingerbread. That's gingerbread. Hands down, that is gingerbread. Let me just, let me just have a look. Uh, number two, gingerbread. There we go. It is indeed a gingerbread. Um, so it says, herbal infusion, naturally caffeine free, cinnamon, ginger, licorice root. I could smell some licorice. Apple, trickery root, roasted aniseed. I couldn't smell the aniseed. Uh, clove buds, cardamom seeds, couldn't smell that, and natural flavouring. Brew for about five to seven minutes, same as before. Um, it's a classic, it's described as a classic Christmas blend. Remember to breathe in the aroma before you take your first sip. Note that it contains licorice, so avoid excessive consumption if you suffer from hypertension. Do indeed heed that warning, but no, I definitely could smell the gingerbread. The aroma is fantastic. So when I make these up, I will film myself tasting them because I can't, I can't justify brewing three different cups on one day. <laughs> uh, let's try number three. Can I smell that one? What, what are you? What do you smell like? Oh, that's a difficult one. There's some sort of fruit there. I'm not sure. I can smell apple. I can smell apple. Oh, coconut. There you go. It's coconut oolong. Is it, the, how do you say it? Oolong? Oolong. Coconut oolong. Um, this one contains caffeine as well. Coconut flakes and cornflower petals. Uh, brew for three to four minutes on this one. It's just simply described as a brand new blend in our collection. My first dabble with coconut. Hope you enjoy it. There we go. So that's a brand new one. Let me smell it again now that I know it's coconut. 
Yeah, that's what it was. I said it, there was like a fruit taste to it, or smell to it. Coconut, there you go. Ah, you know, it's so fun actually, just trying to guess what they are. <laughs> but I will try them, so you'll, you'll, you'll see them in the, in the vlogs. I'm gonna keep them in a sealed unit. And I've actually got a biscuit tin that I can put them all in. Ooh, strong smell. Cherry, cherry, I'm definitely getting cherry. I don't know what the, what the undertones are, but definitely, day four, cherry. Uh, festive fruits, apparently. There we go, festive fruits. It is, there's definitely cherry in there. Um, this one's caffeine free. Cranberry slices. Ooh, did I mistake cherry for cranberry? Possibly. Uh, apple, star anise, cinnamon, flavouring. Oh, cinnamon, flavour. Flavouring, but it doesn't say what flavouring. Blackberry leaves, freeze-dried cranberry slices, and safflower. Um, brew for five to seven minutes. Classic blend of all things Christmas. A very fruity and sweet infusion. Yes, I was going to say it smells sweet. Yeah, now that I know that it's cranberry, it smells like cranberry. But at first smell, I definitely identify that as cherry, but... Yeah, cranberry, I'm, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> so, in the next Vlogmas, you will see day five, and it will just be day, day five on its own. So hopefully, well, you will, I will definitely test all of these out um, in upcoming vlogs. I just don't want to waste all of my, um, all of my, what they called, tea filters, uh, just on, on like a little cup, so. We will, we will definitely try them, uh, just not today. But they smell absolutely gorgeous. So let's pop that one away. Now, um, ooh, yummy, yummy. So Matt has been doing his on the days. I've been saving mine so that I can share them with you. And he says they've been absolutely amazing. So number two, I really enjoyed the first one. So number two is here. Let's try that one. Okay, so it says, carol singing began as an old English custom called wassailing, 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 toasting good health to neighbours. So there you go, carol singing, toasting good health to your neighbours. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I like these, it's like a little mini Yule log, isn't it? Ooh, what's this one? This one is the Alpini Praline. I am convinced it is. Mmm. Hazelnut Praline in creamy milk chocolate dusted with finely grated white chocolate evoking the Swiss Alps. Well, I will be the judge of whether it evokes the Swiss Alps or not. Mmm. 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 Disgusting. Oh no, it's amazing. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> okay, that's two. There's two more to go. Can you stand it? Are you hungry? Uh, day three. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Day three. Ooh. Uh, prior to the introduction of electric lights for Christmas trees, Candles were used to decorate trees. Yes, they were, because there are some Victorian photos. Queen Victoria uh, and Albert introduced Christmas trees as a German custom to the UK. Right, ooh, look, it's got little pink flakes on it. So again, we've got white chocolate. Uh, it is a strawberries and cream. <gasps> a classic blend of strawberries and double cream smothered in white chocolate and topped with pink, with pink sprinkles. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for another one of those. Oh, number four over here with a big one. With the big window, what's this? 
<coughs> in the okay. Uh, the Christmas song Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire was written during a heat wave in 1944 in Los Angeles. I did not know that. This is a big one. What, what on earth could be in here? Ooh. Oh, it's something in a wrapper. Ooh, what's this then? It's the Hazelnut Delight. Ooh, now Matt didn't like, well, Matt's given me his. Um, because he doesn't like anything with nuts on. So I'm going to swap, uh, we did say I will swap the uh, Sicilian mousse. So whenever I get a Sicilian mousse, Matt will try that one. Ooh, do you know what? I was expecting a nut on the top, there's not, it must be inside. Delicious. Go. Gorgeous. That is so yummy. Mm. <clears throat> now we get some scents. So if you remember from the Yankee Candle, oh, I've just undone, I've undone the bow. I'll do that up later. Um, so if you remember, I was very impressed with day one because you got the votive candle holder. Um, so today we get a, a smell. So I'm looking for window number two. Window number four, stretching to pop open. There's number three, so we'll be going to that one later. Number two is, is, where are you number two? Number two, come on down. I can see number four. Oh, it's here. Okay. Oh, it, it is, it is a, I'm going to have to put this down so I can get it out. Right, it is, I think this one might actually be a tea light. I'm going to get it out. It's kind of stuck. Right, no, no, it's, there it is. Woohoo! Okay. So, some of them, I forgot, some of them are votives, some of them are tea lights. Oh, it's something alpine-y. I don't exactly know what it is. It doesn't even say what it is. If I just show you, um, if I just show you sort of, I need to do this a bit different. I might do this on the floor um, after. Anyway, that's what you get kind of inside when it's a, a tea light. I would say it smells, um, is there anything on the back that actually says what they are? I don't know. Which, I don't know what scent it is. It smells alpiney, so it does smell nice. Um, it's a subtle alpine smell, so we will try that. I mean, obviously, I can light it, and I can, I can. I've got a long match, so I can put my long match in there and try it. So I will tell you what it smells like properly when it's lit. Okay, so I'm going to do day three like this. I think. Ooh, so we actually get a proper votive today. So this one does actually tell you what it is. So it's Holiday Hearth. Mmm. Ooh, that smells gorgeous. Okay, that smells really, really nice. It does evoke memories of like past, you know, past Christmases. It's got all those lovely kind of nostalgic scents to it. That's nice. Do you know what? I could possibly buy that one in a big one. Um, smells good. Let me have another sniff. Yeah. I couldn't, I, I couldn't pick out exactly what the scents are in there, but it does smell gorgeous, so that's really nice. And the final one for today from this calendar is number four. And again, we get another full votive. This one is Glittering Star. Okay, they're 49 grams. Have a sniff. Ooh, now actually, these two are very similar, but this one just has a slight kind of higher... A lighter note to it. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but slightly more kind of perfume. It's lighter. It is definitely lighter. So, yeah, it, it does. It, 
does smell like a glittering star. So I can't wait to try all these out. I think we are going to try probably the tea light out tonight. And then I will try the other ones over the next few days. Yay. But I might actually store them in the calendar just to keep them all in order. Uh, but there we have it. That is all of the advents. Now, did you see the elf? Have you seen the elf in today's episode? So if you have seen the elf anywhere in this video, then do please let me know in the comments below. But I think I'm going to close out today's Vlogmas vlog. Tomorrow, I think, is Cherry's Hall plus Advents plus whatever else we've managed to film that might be Christmassy. And um, then I think the day after, um, we are doing the final cruise vlog. So that will be coming out. And then the day after, we'll be catching up on uh, Advents and doing all other kinds of festive fun on the vlog. So I really hope that you're enjoying it. If you are, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, all that good stuff. And from us, Matt's Playing Computer Games, to you all and goodbye. <laughs>